And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Darius. This deck is going to be pretty aggressive. We got some combo elements and a lot of support. So let's see what we got. So we're going to be starting off with our one mana cards, the Flower Child, Legion Rear Guard, Precious Pet, getting some um, attacking in right away. Two mana is where we start our support, support but we got Trifarian Glory Seeker and Trifarian Hopeful. So if we have another Noxus ally, we can make some five twos with Trifarian Hopeful. At first glance, you think that, okay, Trifarian Hopeful is not nearly as good as just other cards that we can play, probably shouldn't be playing it, but it's gonna be important in here. Um, but yeah, we have our Young Witch, being able to give the plus one plus zero quick attack, which is amazing with Trifarian Glory Seeker, but then also when you have like a card like Legion Rear Guard, that's very easy to block, maybe give this thing quick attack, or your Trifarian Hopeful also. Um, but, you know, our support stuff, of course, we're a Lulu deck that can support and make things 4-4s. Four so these these things like 3-1s and everything, we can make them 4-4s. Four they can help stay alive. But another good card to make a 4-4 four four is Trevor Snoozebottom. So Trevor Snoozebottom is an, a 0-3 normally. Hopefully Lulu can help Trezor, Trevor Snoozebottom be a 4-4. Four four. But Snoozebottom has the support, create an attacking Mumble Sprite with my supported ally stats. So it's an elusive with the supported ally stats. So that's what, that's why we're going to be playing some of these cards that have a lot of power and not much health, like your 5-2 Trifarian Hopeful, your 3-1 re Rear Guard, even like a 5-1 Glory Seeker, because whenever we support them with the Snooze Bottom, then we get a 5-2 elusive attacking, for example. You know, we get a big, powerful elusive. So we got that going on. We got a Fuzzy Caretaker being able to be another support thing. Kato the Arm giving a plus three, plus zero, and Overwhelm. That's going to be pretty clutch with these things. And then, of course, Darius at the top end. If we have a, a leveled up Darius and it's a 10 power Overwhelm and support that with a, a snooze with Trevor, you know, Trevor's going to make another 10 power <laughs> elusive. That could be awesome. Um, so yeah, so that's that's what our deck's all about. As far as doing extra damage, we got a couple of ghosts to be able to give elusive. We got a couple of brothers bond, buff those things up even more. And then uh, some protection with twin disciplines that can also be a plus three plus zero if we want some more damage and nopify for protection against all these mega rains. All right, so that's our deck, Lulu Darius. Looks pretty sweet. Let's uh, go play five games over in ranked. Let's see how we do with this support aggro. Yeah, I, I like, yeah, that would, that would be nice if Snooze Bottom would, would copy the keywords as well. That would definitely make Snooze Bottom better. But um, we'll see. We'll see if, if Snooze Bottom's a viable card, as, as you're asking. Okay, we got double Snooze Bottom, a ghost. We're going to mulligan the ghost. For now, I think we just mulligan everything but one snooze bottom and try to get some more early stuff to go along with it. And there we go. More early stuff to go along with it. I was hoping they didn't attack. Well, they did. But not gonna block. Because I want two supports here, to level up Lulu. That's my plan. Looks like they may be going with... Looks like they may just be going with a barrier. Yay, no barrier. Oh, right, those are only our, yeah, those are our first two supports we didn't support before. All right, good, no barrier. The dragon's rage claws to get out. What is our best at math? Not again. Trevor! We ain't blocking. I don't think any of our units can block. I don't think it's possible. Okay, so how would we support this? We want, we want Young Wit. I, I mean, I guess we just do it like this. Yeah, I guess we would do it like this. Can also... Pigs. Can wake up. 
We could ghost one of these things, give them elusive. Maybe the five. So they're at ten. So five, six, seven, eight. Elusive. I'll give you elusive. Where are you going, Pix? What are you doing? Oh, oh flower. Nice. I maybe should just use the twin disciplines immediately as like a plus three plus zero on the precious pet. So that it's a five one and then this would be a five one also. I was thinking of using the twin disciplines after. Don't make me but maybe I should have done that first and just had these both be five ones. Yeah, let's go for the win. Let's put it on this thing. I should have just done that first. Awesome, GG's. I was kind of expecting con uh, Concerted Strike. Playing some Nightfall now. I mean, and we've only we, yeah we've only tried it just the the one game for Trev, Trevor Snooze Bottom, but um, can't complain getting a win with it. Can't complain so far. Nocturne Diana. I, Definitely pretty skeptical about it. All right, we're gonna get rid of the Nopify and the Twin Disciplines. I guess I get rid of. I could see keeping the Twin Disciplines to help protect against the Diana attack. Um, I, I'm a little worried about that of like Diana Challenger, Quick Attack Challenger being a, a free kill. I don't really know if Nopify is gonna do anything in this matchup. I need just a moment. Oh, Vile Feast. Okay, so Vile Feast. So I guess I need to... So I was planning on playing Lulu, and then having Lulu support the, the Glory Seeker and turn Glory Seeker into a 4-4 four four so we can kill these and, and we stay alive. Like That's definitely my plan, but because of Vile Feast, I guess I need to play Trifarian Hopeful and keep Nopify available. That's a huge bummer. I'd much rather be playing Lulu and attacking with Lulu. I stand for Noxus. That wasn't the same spell they acted like playing before. That was the spell. That's the spell. There it is. So they led with that. I'm not sure if that means they have another one of those. Or if they're just going with Diana afterwards, because like that's leading with that nightfall card. Okay, nocturne. They're giving the 4 1 vulnerable. Your kind despises you. Uh, I know that. Really? Devotion to battle. <laughs> I'll just take the free kill. Get some damage in. Uh, 
That was a good ephemeral. So we got him down to 14. Never mind, 16. Should be a good Darius. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Invisible to the ignorant. Mine is the hand of Noxus. Ooh. I'm glad no Diana. It's our time. Step away, coward. Puts me down to four. Still at 16. Okay. So I attack. Will rise. They have to block both of my things. Like they, they have to block Caretaker. I think it does make sense. This was wondering if it makes sense to play the Legion Rear Guard first. I think it does. We're gonna make this thing a six. We're gonna make the. We're gonna make the Legion rear guard a six one. So we'll have five one six one. Mm, good blocker. I'll do better this time. Fear not death. You're just gonna take my Trevor Snooze bottom. Yeah. Or not. Sorry, that's that's fuzzy caretaker. Yeah, they can't take it. Okay, so these all trade, so we can just let them all trade and then play our new Darius. Or I can twin disciplines plus zero plus three on this Darius, and then it's a six three. That's probably worth it, keep that Darius alive. So then they have to deal with that Darius still. I'll play new Darius. So the question is, why not just go with the Fuzzy Caretaker on the Darius for higher overwhelm damage? Because if I do that, they may not they may not block the 3-1. The and I I need to, I want to force them that they have to block both of the first two things before the Darius. Because if they don't block either of those first two things, then they just die because you know we have twin disciplines. Uh, give it a plus three, plus zero, turn the Darius, you know, into being like 10, 10 power. I wanted to have that opportunity of having Darius be... Ready. Um, Darius be like a, a lethal attacker. The moon is our queen, the night her kingdom! Well, this looks like game. No more lies. Night descends. Face your heretic. Yeah. So my only option for staying alive is blocking like this and then twin disciplines plus zero plus three on the hopeful. Looks like they got me. That I was hoping for, you know, the whole game that they wouldn't have Diana, and they did have Diana here now. That card's awesome. Diana's awesome. Alright, GG's. Let's lead with the. I guess we lead with the rear guard. We could keep the rear guard for the snooze bottom. You know, attacks for the most. I'll write my own story. I'm, I'm ready. Ugh. 
Victory requires a sharp blade. All right, I just want to do the five damage while we can. Who does not know the name Laurent? I'm gonna pass. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. Time to get rowdy. My pants again. I'm playing that so I can have Brothers Bond available, but maybe that's not even necessary. Man, these single combats. They're annoying. So they get a 3-4, so we'll have a 4-1 and a 5-2 attacking, and so the 3-4 the can block one of them. So five one. So basically, they just had a they just played a two mana three four. Been a long path to get here. I have my orders. So Darius can block loyal badger bear. I'm surprised Sithria didn't attack. Honestly. Ready. Safeguard our citizens. What time is it? Alright, so we'll go 4-1, 5-4, 8-2 overwhelm. And then Darius. Defend our banner. Stand for what's right. Fall by my sword. Do not waver. They don't get any easy blocks here. Like, that's not gonna work, right? Yeah, like their only their only way to stay alive, I think, is Scythria and the th like the like they need Scythria blocking one of these two. So Scythria should be blocking Darius, and then yeah, the three four here. They can't keep any anything alive. Oh, Rangers resolve. Never mind. Rangers resolve is just destroying me today. Oh, Ranger's Resolve is destroying me today. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Is Lulu leveled up? No, just one support. Well, this is the glade. It's like a symbol worth fighting for. I was going to say I could have Lulu block me. the Scythria and survive with the Bannerman. Show them our it's medal. perfect. So never mind. So I just got to hope that they drew a spell. Nope, it's a unit. And their swords. Let's use all the colors. 
So this attack means that that we lose, right? So if we attack here, we lose. If we don't attack, we lose. So, yeah, looks like we just lose. Yeah, Le Legion Rearguard has looked really bad with the camp lock. Stand for what's right. It has looked pretty bad. Make it worth my while. Like if it was something that could block, we'd have a chance. It probably should just be Legion Saboteur. Don't hold back. All right, one and two. I like these top-end cards, but we need to have earlier things. Um, I'm gonna try mulliganing Darius and keep Kato. There we go, there's an earlier thing. Don't think I won't unmake you because I will! So I thought about waiting till next turn so where I could play Young Witch and have Nopify available, but the problem with that is Avalanche. You know, I can't can't stop Avalanche. I'm not gonna ghost here. We're gonna wait on ghost, especially with having like Kato. We could use Ghost as a Decimate, but I think that we can probably have a better opportunity for Ghost it was right on my tail. I stand in the future. You gotta believe me! Bruce! I like the Twin Disciplines. I support here, support here. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of thought that they weren't going to be blocking Kato anyway. So this is seven. So I can't kill them. I'm gonna do this. I wanna keep my third threat alive. Because basically we can have like Kato with Ghost or Flower Child with Ghost. And yeah, like they have all the Nexus healing. This game's not gonna be over just immediately. They're going for ruination. Well, nope, not ruination. I have my orders. Pass to me. Darn. Okay. Vile Feast? Something we can nopify? Yeah! 
Alright. It's back on them. They gotta do something. I don't have to Brothers Bond yet. There we go. GG's. GG's. So yeah, we had the rear guard turn one also. Yeah, if if rear guard was yeah, if rear guard was just Legion Saboteur, we would have won that that last game. Yeah, the Nopify has been great. Been very very happy with the Nopify. Can we get some support? This would be a really good time for a young witch supporting Glory Seeker to make it a 6 1. Um. Alright, Rear Guard, can you do something? Do awesome, so it hits for three, just like Legion Saboteur would. News bottom. I am here to help. I need just a moment. For glory, you are mine. Remember me. Yeah, I gotta kill the boxer. So we'll just trade two mana challengers. Gotta kill the boxer before it gets healed. Let's go with the Fuzzy Caretaker. The card's maybe a little scary. Nope, another Boxer. The Boxer was the card that just drew off this Fortune Croaker, too. That's too bad. Requires a sharp blade. I hope Nobify can do something. They won't like this. Okay, ready. I'll cut them apart. Face me. Up we go. You pay first. So basically, you know, I want to try to get damage in. At least have better attackers. Not looking good. Pablo's been turned. Got but three of those. Ah, I told your ancestors to protect. Man, I needed a young witch in this game. Yeah, can't play anything. You leave me no choice. Take heart. Live with purpose. Never seen a Soraka deck look this good. I just don't. I don't have anything to stop Soraka. Unfortunately. I was just saying that you that you looked really good, Nopify. I was just saying that. Huh? All right, well, we'll have Move out. you. Yeah, that was three. Yeah, three box to post with Soraka against against my deck with no interaction was just perfect. Um, this game's over. This this attack isn't any good. This makes more sense, though, to do it like this. I'll do better this time. 
It does not even seem that good of an attack or anything. Go no further. You're in for a weapon. We haven't met yet. There is assistant. Well, that's too bad. Ended up going two and three with our Lulu Darius deck. I think it's kind of a little too all in on. Like, I think there's actually a lot of good stuff going on here, but I don't like how all in, how we don't have any interaction besides like Glory Seeker. That we don't have interaction, and that we're just too all in on damage. I think that that you could have um, just some more. Some more combat oriented things, some more defensive things. You could you could honestly control the battlefield pretty well. And like with how well like these Lulus and stuff attack, I think I think we could have we could have some good stuff going on here. But I guess that's the, you know, what I'm kind of describing makes Trevor Snooze Bottom not really worth it. This deck that we have here is definitely built for Snooze Bottom. Like Trevor needs yeah, Trevor needs you to be really aggressive. So I guess, so that makes sense. That makes sense that our deck's built this way to try to be as aggressive as possible because of, um, you know, Trevor only helps be aggressive. It doesn't do anything else. A couple of things I think I would change in this list. I would definitely play Saboteur instead of Rear Guard. That cost us one game. We would have... We would have been three and two if we would would have just had Saboteur instead of Rear Guard. It's just a lot better card. One one power is not worth the always deal one damage to the enemy Nexus, and the ability to block. Blocking is too important in races at times. The only only upside that Rear Guard has is that with the Snooze Bottom, it, you could make a three one sprite instead of a two one sprite. But there's probably going to be something else better to a Snooze Bottom and uh, Sab Saboteur has got to be it. So that's that's something that I think that has to change. Uh, that cost us a game. Um, let's see. Besides that, I'm not. Besides that, I think Fuzzy Caretaker was a card I wasn't very impressed with. Because it's really tough to go with with Fuzzy Caretaker. It's difficult to like. You give something plus three plus zero, but the thing that Caretaker supports to give plus three plus zero is not the thing that Tre that Trevor can support, and also not the thing that Kato can support. So that's all kind of difficult with all of that honestly in that slot i would rather have fey guide i think that fey guide could work really well it doesn't support but you already have a lot of cards that support but it does just grant elusive and granting elusive can be awesome with these other cards because like you can grant you know whatever these other cards are supporting elusive and it's still a three three that gets to block and everything i think that that um out of these two much rather have the Fey Guide with an aggressive deck like this. It's like Fey Guide can give your like Kato elusive, and then your your snoo Snooze Bottom supports the Kato that makes another elusive. Yeah, so that's two two small changes there. Hey puppy, come here. Or even just giving like your Trifarian Hopeful that's a five two, giving that elusive, giving your Glory Seeker that's a five one elusive because you know you get to hit with it. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. Your flower child's been supported a few times. Give, you know, a couple of times. Give this thing elusive whenever it's larger. Fey Guide works perfectly here. So that's, so those are two changes that I would, I would recommend. So that doesn't, that doesn't change the deck up too much. And we still stay real aggressive. Because I guess that's what we have, that's what we got to do with Snooze Bottom. Um, be real aggressive like that. Is there something better than a Brother's Bond? Is Transfusion better than Brother's Bond? Potentially, I could definitely see playing Transfusion over Brother's Bond to be some protection while also pumping, you know, like also a source of damage. I think, actually, no. What I would do, I would play, I would play Rush over Brother's Bond. But maybe that's, maybe that's just me. But with Lulu attacking, um... Yeah, I, I think I would rather have Rush that can... Like, Rush plus, you know, like, Glory Seeker can be awesome to keep the Glory Seeker alive. But then also, like, you just get this... You know, like, they block your Lulu, and you get to keep Lulu alive. I'm not as sure about this change, but I do like Rush with... 
with Lulu. And even Rush with, like, Kato or Darius. Because, you know, we're attacking a lot. And we saw, like, if we think about, like, the very first game, how I just didn't block ever and just attacked. Because you want to attack, and you want to attack with everything, with these support units. So if you're attacking with everything, they're, they're going to be able to block. And they're probably going to have, like, one good block. And maybe a rush can can just completely blow that up. I did like hopeful. I I did like hopeful. I am still in you know in that kind of same thing. I'm still skeptical that it's better than Legion Drummer. I I love Legion Drummer, so I'm I'm still skeptical there. Hopeful was good, and and um, yeah, I, I can see I can see the the good part about playing hopeful, especially with with snooze bottom. Fey guide would make hopeful better. Maybe you just need more Fey guides. Like Fey guide's just amazing. Maybe just play like one rush and a third Fey guide. I kind of feel like Fey guide's like a better yeah, it's just better than Brothers Bond. Just giving things elusive is better than Brothers Bond. Yeah, you can cut Ghost. You, you could probably cut Ghost with playing Fey Guides. That's also a thing you can do. Twin Discipline was good for us. I could see playing like a Deny. So there we go. I think those are those are some changes I'd make. Ghost, yeah, I could, could maybe think about cutting Ghost, but I, I like Ghost. But I would definitely get Fey Guides in here, and I would definitely make that, that one cost change. I think those are two things that you gotta do. Uh, but there we go. We uh, played Tre Trevor Snooze Bottom to some good success. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Always love to see those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.